So hi everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Swastika with us. So Swastika, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi Ashish. Uh, first of all, thanks for inviting me on your channel. Uh, very grateful. I hope like my experiences would help people who are preparing and in are in their preparation journey. Yeah. Right. Right. So Swastika has basically cracked uh, companies like Amazon, Atlassian, and Microsoft off campus. So we'll be getting to know her journey of you know. How she found those opportunities and how she prepared enough to be able to crack it. So, Swastika, start us off with how did you manage to find those opportunities off campus? Because it is pretty competitive, right? So, how did you get those yeah. opportunities? Okay, so first of all, uh, I would say the first thing which I always did from my first year was being active on LinkedIn. Hmm. Not just being active, like how to actually uh, like being active on LinkedIn is to. Follow people who are who are actually giving the job updates. Mm, then yes. following and having connections from people who are working in an MNC, so that if you already have a connection, you can get a referral very easily when a job opening comes. Because the connection time takes, then the job opening might get closed. Mm. So those are the <laughs> yeah. things which are important. Then second is I was always active on Discord. Discord mm. is people <laughs> like the, there are. All tech people there, hmm. so you easily get connections. Are also available. Like I think most of the startups also like people from startups are there on Discord. So like you can apply via them also. <laughs> And then also, uh, one thing I would say is, uh, participate in all the hackathons like which take place like which are company sponsored. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and. and also the communities which are formed like i was part of codes cafe so mm -hmm. into it actually hires from codes cafe okay. like they conduct a hiring drive from there so i think being aware is one of the thing mm, uh, right. which is important in off campus uh, so i think that's one mm. या मेन चीज बहुत बार ऐसी होती है ना लोगों को पता ही नहीं होता कि हायरिंग प्रोग्राम्स कौन से होते हैं या yeah. फिर कौन से हैकेथॉन्स होते हैं अगर आपको पता ही नहीं होगा देन you will obviously miss out of those things right yeah yeah being uh, aware is very important like talk to seniors and be mm. active on linkedin linkedin is the ultimate source key. yeah key to yeah. pretty much pretty yeah. much right so obviously let's say ki someone goes for referral and uh, ask someone for referral to unke resume thoda kuch hona chahiye jisse they can get shortlisted right so what do you feel ki yeah. in your resume was something that stood out out of other candidates yeah Okay, talking about my resume, the first thing was कि resume एक दिन में नहीं बनता है like it's not a one day activity it take multiple iterations to make a good resume yes. and सबसे पहले मुझे मिली थी advice कि make it on overleaf तो so hmm. I uh, made it on overleaf and one thing I think I maintain quite decent CGP of nine plus hmm. from my starting college years so that is one thing. and i also took part in various hackathons so uske projects mm. i used to put on my resume like i was google girl hackathon finalist to uska project i added in my resume also uh, if i am mentioning co curricular activities so i was a state debate winner uh, mm. so that point also you need to like mention ki kaise you are proving that you have a good communication skill mm, correct yes yeah also uh, थोड़े बहुत पी ओ आर्स आई मैं लाइक पोजिशन ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एंड वन थिंग जो मेरे प्रोजेक्ट्स होते थे दे यूज टू बी नॉट लाइक एक डोमेन के आई यूज टू मेक प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ वेरियस डोमेन्स लाइक साइबर सिक्योरिटी एम एल का प्रोजेक्ट है ताकि इट्स नॉट लाइक अ सिंपल प्रोजेक्ट लाइक कुछ रियल लाइफ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो रही हो वैसे टाइप के प्रोजेक्ट्स आई यूज टू मैं exactly and that is one advice that i also give to my viewers right try to make a project jo thoda complex ho and thoda real world problem ko solve kare basic e-commerce website to sab bana lete hain you can find everywhere right yeah yeah hmm so having yeah. a good project can really make or break your resume so to speak right yes sure okay so now the main thing that pretty much i guess everyone would want to ask you is how did you manage to you know get so good at dsa you were able to crack the interview of all of these companies because they ask good level dsa right so how did you prepare yeah. for dsa okay so my dsa preparation uh, so uh, in school life only 11 12th i mm -hmm. got to know about python mere school okay. mein in 11 12th i had to pick an optional subject so i chose mm -hmm. computer science 
तो इन माई फर्स्ट ईयर आई डेंट डू डी एस ए वेरी कंसिस्टेंटली आई एक्सप्लोर्ड अबाउट वेरियस लाइक डोमेन्स एम एल वगैरह आई यूज टू एक्सप्लोर एंड देन आई फोकस ऑन अकेडमिक्स अलॉट एंड माई कैरिकुलम वॉज फॉर्चुनेटली नॉट कोर सब्जेक्ट एवरी सब्जेक्ट वॉज रिलेटेड टू सम काइंड ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस बट एट एंड ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर माई सीनियर सजेस्टेड मी लव ही इज फ्रॉम ट्रिपल आई टी अलाहाबाद उनका एक सी पी एस टी एल का प्ले लिस्ट है दैट इज वेरी नाइस आई इवन रिकमेंड इट टू माई जूनियर्स दैट इज लाइक मुझे तब से डी एस ए का एक अलग ही लाइक मोटिवेशन आया द वे ही यूज टू एक्सप्लेन एंड एवरी थिंग देन इन सेकेंड सेमेस्टर लाइक इन या इन द वेकेशन आई प्रैक्टिस ऑन कोर्ट फोर्सेज ऑल्सो सो आई ये रेगुलरली यूज टू गिव कॉन्टेस्ट इन माई समर वेकेशन देन I used to do parallelly code forces and lead code. Then, मुझे Google Step का uh, I got an interview call in February. Oh, nice. So that time, at that time, I wasn't much prepared with uh, topics of graphs and trees. Hmm. Like, थोड़ा idea था, but didn't solve much problems. So, uh, yeah, I was rejected in that. Hmm. But मैंने अगले ही थोड़े दिन में I made a Google Doc of what all things I should like do. कैसे इंटरव्यू में हाउ डू एक्सप्लेन अ प्रॉब्लम हाउ डू यू गिव हिम द टेस्ट लाइक एज केसेस सो इट वाज वेरी मच सेटबैक एंड वहीं से मेरी एक्चुअल जो है प्रिपरेशन कि हाँ डीएसए को ऐसे लाइक एक पढ़ने का तरीका भी आया मतलब आई हैड अ नोट्स प्रिपेयर बट मच मोर आई गॉट इन टू विजुअलाइजेशन ऑफ ऑल डी एस ए प्रॉब्लम की हाउ डू विजुअलाइज एंड आई थिंक Google Step gave me that. It was my first interview, mm, so oh. I had much of the learnings. Yeah. Then, many uh, almost pure summer vacation. My uh, like second year ke end me summer vacation. Me took a goal that I need to strengthen my knowledge of TSA. Ka strong karna hai. Mm. I almost solved many problems on lead code. My uh, again Google ka interview. Aaya. Uh, it was from Girl Hackathon. So I had almost two weeks of time. तो आई यूज टू सॉल्व हार्ड प्रॉब्लम और लीड कोड एंड देन आई रियलाइज कि गूगल पैटर्न जो होता है दे आस्ट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू टॉपिक्स जैसे डी पी प्लस बाइन रिसर्च पूछ लेंगे वो एक अनदर सेट बैक था कि हाँ बट दैट टाइम मैं इतने श्योर थी कि मेरा जो डी एस ए का फंडामेंटल कोर नॉलेज है दैट इज स्ट्रॉन्ग इनफ दैट आई कैन फेस अनदर इंटरव्यू या right and i think one thing that you said about visualization right that is again very important for the more difficult topic like topic like graph tree uh-huh. वगैरह it helps so much uh-huh. agar aap ek pen paper leke visualize karke dekhoge how the problem is solving which is something yeah. that we don't see a lot of people do right yeah yeah, so yeah visualization have, is very important it's pretty much the key uh-huh. for the most uh-huh. more difficult topics advanced topic So you've solved problems on pretty much lead code, code forces. So have you done computer programming as well? Yeah, I did like code forces. But I I was part of T L E eleven uh, level nine. I was a student of that. T L E eliminators. Yeah, I followed that C P thirty one sheet. So that is very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C P thirty one. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I did that in my preparation. Hmm. preparation mein. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, all of the resources that she is mentioning, we'll put in the description box, so you can follow all of the resources from there. So, uh, do you remember how many problems have you done so far by any chance? If you have a count or range of how many problems you've done? Okay, yeah, so as a like code forces, pe many around two hundred and fifty kare the, and mm-hmm. lead code pe around three hundred to four hundred kare. So, as a particular, koi count nahi hai. But hmm. but yeah, my like my focus was never on the count. It was yeah, on... it's more on the quality of problems, and that yeah. what kind of problem. If you are easy, thousand kar loge, they will never learn anything, right? It's yeah, about yeah. balance and also. It, and I'm doing since a long time back. So, yes, hmm. <laughs> hmm. right, right, right. So you know, apart from DSA, we have development also, and there's a debate of DSA versus development always. So how did you like manage DSA and development? Did you balance it? Did you focus only on DSA? How was it for you? Okay. Yeah, uh, so talking about development, um, like eleven, twelfth only, I was familiar with a development hmm. a bit. Then yeah. um, in my college, like every semester, I have to make a course project. So, hmm. usme what I used to do is 
utta to i didn't know but i used to visualize the back end uh, portion mm. like this was to do is that thing i used to generate codes with chat gpt and then previous repositories pe bhi dev ke kuch projects hote hain so main uski help le leti thi and jo gpt generate kar raha hai wo official documentation jo hote hain usse verify mm-hmm. karti thi so that was my process of learning development other side man i never stuck into the tutorial hell because <laughs> yeah <laughs> that that i never know ki kya mujhe isme seekh rahi hu and second thing is jo mera hamesha group hota tha course project mein uh, i had very good peer group jisse mujhe development mm-hmm. kaise seekhte hain uska kafi mujhe knowledge aaya tha ki kaise steps hote hain and everything to so that mm-hmm. right and uh, i think a good amount of projects you would have made in hackathons also right because you said ki you took part in a lot of hackathons as well right so i guess ye cheez uh, because i just remembered one guy told me i was taking an interview for another guy so he said ki agar aap hackathon kar lo to aapko alag se project banane ki zarurat nahi padegi hackathon se hi aapka sab kuch covered ho jayega your resume will be yeah. set yeah i would agree upon that and resume mein wo aap likh rahe ho ki us jagah ka hai ye project to hmm. that reflects on the resume hmm correct 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 okay so you know on a final note to all of the people who are watching this video who also want to crack a company like you know atlas and amazon all these fang type of companies what advice would you give to those okay uh, so first of all agar aap ek company ko matlab target kar rahe hain jaise hmm. if for example i take atlas and so matlab you should know ki kaisa unka question kaisa pattern rehta hai and like some co- some companies focus on both hr and tech some just mm, focus on dsa yes. to har kisi ka ek preparation strategy hota hai so like for at last in what i did was ki unka do rounds they have two rounds so first is purely dsa no cs fundamentals second is hr plus tech mm. so us according maine values aur hr questions prepare kiye the and for amazon also it's purely dsa they didn't mm-hmm. ask me any fundamental questions yeah project based questions not very much or microsoft project and both dsa they ask both they give equal weightage so you should always have a plan for every company you are giving interview for so that's mm-hmm. the advice and also i used interview bit for my practice so wo ek achhi site hai and मॉक इंटरव्यूज आप दे सकते हो अब सीनियर्स से मैंने कुछ कुछ दिए थे बट या आप जो आपको मिले आप यू कैन ट्राई राइट एंड लाइक यू सेड इंटरव्यू बट आल्सो हैज कंपनी वाइज क्वेश्चंस राइट so yeah. you can go and fil- filter by the tag of the company and one more important thing like you said is the interview experience so com- like websites like gfg and all have interview experiences that you can see the structure you can also follow my playlist in which i have interview experience of multiple videos so just plugging in my playlist <laughs> yes, <I'm> sure <laughs> okay so i guess that pretty much covers everything about swastika's journey to you know all of these companies if someone still has any doubt or they want to reach out to swastika then i'll give her linkedin in the description you guys can follow her from there and connect with her from there so thanks a lot swastika for coming on my channel i hope to help a lot of students thank you you're thank you yeah